So a bit of news really quick before I start the video is Bandai has actually announced they are going to make full versions of the DIM cards for Black Roar and Shadow Hill uh, as a retail release, not the promo or trial versions. So for anyone that's thinking of planning on spending about 200 quid on these on eBay, don't. There is actually going to be a full version coming out, so just leave it off for a little bit, okay? Okay, watch the video. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so here we are at the Vital Brace Lab, or VB Lab for short. So you just tap screen, it'll open it up. So once it's finished loading, you'll be brought to this screen here. Uh, it says no data and there's no information at all here really, just because I haven't loaded my Digimon yet. Now I can load my Digimon from scan down the bottom right corner here, where it'll just let me uh, open an NFC connection. But first I just want to go through this. So over here, I'll just tap there. It, these are Digimon that I had transferred here. The first one here, the Postmon, was actually already there when I got the app. The Dokemon came from when I was trying to mess around with it last night just to see how why I couldn't transfer my Digimon over. In here then is your Tamer information. These are special missions so you can use these uh, tag these your Digimon before you send them over to your watch and these will go in your training section under special missions and you can trigger them then. These here are daily missions uh, you come here um that's see they're cleared i've collected them and everything over here then these are normal missions so you see these v coins here they're vital points you can use these in the item store just down here so let's press this one here that'll open the store and these are all the different items you can get up here we have an experience booster basically what that'll do is it just it decreases the amount of time it takes to digivolve uh you see there by 10 minutes here we have uh recovery so this is just a basically if they injure themselves and these top ones here are vitality points so they just add more vitality to your digimon so i'm gonna go ahead and just transfer my digimon over to the watch here really quick so you can see him getting transferred over there so you see him fade from the watch and he'll just transfer over here as that's happening So here you can see my Pokemon after he's been transferred. Uh, he'll appear here. You can come down. You can see the evolution road that I had. Uh, his trophies that he has. He's 21 trophies. These are special missions where you can equip them as well. Just tap these. And that'll add them on there. Uh, make sure that you commit to it. Otherwise, when you send it back, they won't be on there at all. Oh yeah, one more thing I didn't mention is this grey one over here. That says event. Um, I assume they're gonna do some future events so you get some extra of, uh, items for a Digimon. It'd be cool if they can add some sort of like uh, Digimon you can gain through this or something, just through the app that you can send back and forth with a DIM card. Um, I don't think they'll do that, I think they'd prefer to go with the DIM card thing, but it'd just be cool. I'd say it could be something they would do or might do. Uh, you come down here, uh, these uh, where it says DIM card. Uh, under here you can see in blue they're the ones I've loaded into it. I do have the Agumon and Goblin Wang ones uh, So I just haven't put them in that's why they're not in blue. Oh, yeah, I actually want to show the so press this one here And you can select the dim card Let's Load the dim card there. Let's see it go through. That's the route I've taken So press the Digimon And you'll get the profile pop up here just to give some information on the Digimon. Down here then you can see actually the requirements you need for each Digimon as well that you want to uh, evolve to. So like for instance this guy here. You can see that he needs uh, 12 trophies, 3000 vital points, 70% wins in battles. Over here is 15 battles minimum and 24 hours have to pass. Uh, it's very easy. Um, another thing I was going to say as well is a handy... Uh, guide for people that are kind of struggling because I know some people bought this and they didn't uh, take into account that the, the app doesn't translate into English um, if, if you're having trouble with that what I recommend and I have done myself is just screenshot the app the page you're struggling with or you want to, or that has information you think you might want to know bring it to Google, Google Translate import the image and you can get a translation of it there Sometimes it's pretty rough, but my experience has actually been fairly spot on and quite helpful. So it's just something in case you're interested in trying that out. Yeah, so I think I've covered everything that I can, that I can think of right now. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, all that bullshit. Thanks very much. And I will see you again. Bye-bye.